Preparing to continue on the second big adventure of his lifetime, Norman Surplus beat cancer in 2003. Now, to raise cancer awareness, he's traveling around the world in this gyrocopter. If he completes the journey, he'll be the first person to ever do so. It would be nice to be able to use this flight to, um, to give people that, that hope that there's a guy who seven years ago was in that position and now he's flying a, a, a little aircraft around the world. Surplus was inspired to learn how to fly after watching a TV documentary on the gyrocopter from his hospital bed. Smaller than a chopper, a gyrocopter uses only a third of the fuel. It can go as fast as 160 kilometers per hour and as high as 12,000 feet in the air. Surplus has already traveled through 16 countries. That took only six weeks. Flying, he says, is the easy part. The auto gyro has been stalled in the Philippines since May last year due to bad weather and bureaucracy problems in onward destinations. Quite often, the countries won't have uh, any rules written uh, for this type of aircraft, and so they have to uh, be creative and imaginative and, and try and work uh, away a system. But of course, in, in rigid, uh, tightly controlled aviation, though being flexible like that is very, very difficult. Next stop, Japan. And from there, only six more countries before Surplus is back home again. A survivor with his dream fulfilled and a new world record tucked firmly under his cap. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Pampanga, the Philippines.